Today's video, we are going to be doing something that Sonic does often. We are going to be collecting a ring in every single Sonic game. We're gonna go fast to touch one ring in each game. The second I touch a ring, we move on to the next Sonic game. This challenge was inspired by Jorts on YouTube. He's done a lot of these type of videos and honestly, they've been really good. So credit to the original creator of the trend and I decided to put my own little twist on it. So with that being said, we're gonna touch a ring in every single Sonic game. We're gonna keep going till we beat the challenge in every single game, as many as I can play. So guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now I'll give you a second to do that and hopefully you have on notifications so you never miss a video ever again bro like for real stop missing videos i'm being so serious let's not waste your time let's get right into the clip all right first game we got is absolute mid sonic one so let's do it all right we started we started the timer started the timer let me get a ring bro let me get a ring and boom all right, five seconds. Let's move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Game Gear Sonic 1. Haven't played this game in a long time. Wow, they got the little hub worlds. All right, we're going to go to Green Hill. Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wow, he's kind of fast. Oh, all right, three seconds. That was it. Let's move on to the next game. All right, we went from mid to peak. Sonic 2, my favorite 2D Sonic game ever. I actually like this one better than Sonic 3 Knuckles. Boom. All right, 2.96 seconds. Let's keep moving. All right, next up, we got Sonic 2 for the Game Gear. This game is a little bit more obscure, but here we go. Oh my God, did he just kidnap Tails? Yo, give him back, bro. Yo, we got to go rescue our boy. Just kidding. We got to touch the ring. Sorry, Tails. GG's. F in the chat for my boy Tails. All right, here we go. Nice menu screen. Looks nice and clean. Looks very cool. Oh my God, are we in a mine cart? Okay, we're starting off in a mine cart. Here we go. Ready, start. Oh my god, look at that. 1.48 seconds. I gotta say, this game does look kind of cool, though. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like the regular Sonic 2, but hey, listen, here we go. We're on the minecarts. Just kidding, we're moving on to the next game. All right, here we go. Once again, we got Sonic CD. Some people say this game is mid. Some people swear this is the best Sonic game ever, as far as 2D goes. I don't know. Personally, not me, but all right, here we go. All right, no cutscene. Here we go. Ready? Boom! All right, since 2.69, I mean, honestly, it was a little bit faster. There was a little bit of delay of me, like, going on my controller and my keyboard or whatever, but chat let me know if you guys like sonic cd some people like i said they swear by this game they're like yo this is the best 2d sonic has to offer i mean I it's all right anyways let's move on to the next game all right next up we got sonic chaos another one of these game gear titles honestly the game gear seems kind of cool but all right here we go guys here we go boys sonic chaos let's do it who can i play a sonic tails we're gonna play a sonic man we're gonna play a sonic all right sure sounds good to me boom look at that boom look at that do me a favor please Get out of here. Yo, guys, they're making it too easy for me. 0.9. Literally, the first thing they do in any Sonic game is just give you some rings, I guess. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? First level, it's got to be easy. But yeah, this is Sonic Chaos, for those of you who are interested. 0.9 seconds. Let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, we got one of the best 2D Sonic games ever. Probably the best 2D Sonic game ever in Sonic 3. Listen, I personally like Sonic 2 better. Listen, everybody says this to me. Oh, my God, you're crazy. You do. You, you want. I have a reason for this. I'm not going to lie there is a reason for it but we're not doing that in this video this video we're just touching rings but like i said the narrative of this game is awesome you got super sonic in the beginning this is really where that storytelling really starts to take place in uh, sonic games you got my boy nux he's the only person in the world able to stop super sonic i guess but, all right here we go let's chase that this man he just took our emeralds bro all right we're gonna ring oh we just got a ring in 19.87 seconds but yeah listen i know a lot of you guys are gonna think i'm crazy because i like sonic 2 better like i said i can explain but we're gonna move on to the next game because we completed that challenge wow finally it took us a little bit of time Next up, we got Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Well, it's actually just Sonic and Knuckles. So I think this, this is just going to start us from uh, Emerald Hill Zone. This game was always really cool growing up. I had the uh, the original. Oh, my God. There we go. Boom. Just like that. 1.89 seconds, dude. Yeah, back in the day, I originally played these on the uh, Sonic Mega Collection on GameCube. So a little bit different from my first experience with these games. But anyways, let's move on to the next game. All right. Next up, we got Sonic Triple Trouble. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a really good fan remake of this game that recently came out in 16-bit, uh, actually. So we're going to see what's up. A lot a lot of people say that this is a really good game. So I guess I'll include the cutscene in this because it's been so quick. I guarantee I'm going to get a ring like right... Come on, bro. <laughs> All right, 7.73 seconds. Yeah, a lot of people did like this game, so I don't know. I never really had a chance to play it. I think they offered this in, like, the Mega Collection or maybe Sonic Adventure DX. I don't really remember. I definitely, like, played it before, but I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but all right, let's move on to the next game. Sorry for giving you guys a history lesson. All right, next up, we got Sonic Blast. Once again, Sonic and Knuckles on the cover. Man, they love that rivalry back in the day. I gotta say, I like it too. All right, it can be Sonic or Knuckles, but you know I like Sonic better. All right, here we go. Let's start the timer. We'll just start it now. I don't even care. All right, here we go. Yo, what's up with these? Oh, my God. Uh, we just got a ring boom 
5.28 seconds. Once again, I kind of want to just show you guys this game. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but it's like also kind of weird. It's like fake 2D, fake 3D. Does he have a double jump in this game? Oh, it looks like he has a double jump. Wow, very cool. This is where the infamous double jump from like the 2D boosting games. Sorry, 3D boosting games. Some of them like Sonic Colors are all 2D. I guess this is where it originates from. Yeah, and I don't really feel a sense of speed or anything like that, but yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, anyways, let's move on to the next game. Okay, let's go. All right, we got Sonic Pocket Adventure. This is actually, I believe, the only Sonic game to get a 10 out of 10 by IGN. I think this is the first time Modern Sonic has appeared ever. This was after SA1 release. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to start. Let's see if this really is the best Sonic game. All right, here we go. Hero Island. Wow, this game looks really... Fight! Fight! Oh, my God. There we go. Well, that's it. Yeah, apparently, like, the highest rated Sonic game ever. So, yeah, it took us two seconds. Okay, anyways. I almost forgot Peak Fiction. Sonic 3D Blast. I hate this game. But, anyways, here we go. Let's start it up, boys. All right, here we go, guys. The timer is running. Green Grove Zone. What? <laughs> What the? There's a ring right there. Okay, all right, sure. All right, next up in the Sonic's rough transition to 3D phase, say what you want about this game. I actually really do like this one, and I already see the rings that we have to get. So here we go. We got a couple seconds to do this, and boom. 9.79 seconds. Let's move on to the next game. Next up, we got Peak Fiction, my personal favorite 3D Sonic game of all time. You guys see what's going on. We got Sonic Adventure 1. This is personally by far, like I said, it's gotta be my favorite. We love the Sonic gameplay. I think the adventure formula and the Sonic gameplay has never been matched following the release of this game. Everything about it was just so good, especially like the level design for Sonic, the infinite spin dash, the multiple pass for the levels. So perfect. Oh yeah, this is happening. Yo, this game is so fire, bro. Oh, we will be in no fire, not the day. All right, so I guess we're not going to skip any cutscenes just to make it like, let's say you're playing this in a mode where you can't skip cutscenes. You know what I'm saying? We got my boy Chaos. Where you going, you big drip? Okay, Sonic, let's go. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. We're going to touch our first ring. There's a ring you can touch in here, too. Oh, we, I think we just touched one. Wait, we just touched the ring. One minute and 37 seconds, and we did it in a cutscene. Neat little detail. It actually starts you off with a ring as well. You start off with two rings for the fight. So they really just start you off with a ring in every Sonic game, man, I swear. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, next up is the peak of the Sonic Advance series, in my opinion. Sonic Advance 1. I love this one way more than all the other ones, but all right, here we go. And boom, 3.35 seconds, bro. This is getting too easy. Now, next up is my least favorite of the Advance Advanced games, Sonic Advance 2, where once again gonna be Sonic because I love Sonic, bro. Three, two, one, go, boom, up, oh, just like that. 7.65 seconds. Let me know which advanced game you guys like the most, by the way. Alright, of course, naturally, we're gonna go Sonic Advance 3. Personally, I really like this game growing up. Wait a minute. I don't like it as much now, though. All right, here we go. We're in. We're in. Oh, and we actually... All right, this one's actually cool because for this type of challenge, like, we can't just, like, get rings right off the bat. We got to do the actual hub world in this game. All right, that's, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, let's let's pick this up. Let's go to the first world. See, I didn't like the hub world, and I did not like collecting the chaos in the Sonic Advance game. The chaos emeralds in the Sonic Advance games, man. I really was not a fan. Boom, we did it. A minute and one. Like I said, let me know your favorite advance game, but let's move on to the next one. Sonic Adventure 2, I think? I don't know which one's next. All right, next up. Up. You guys already know this game needs no introduction. Sonic Adventure 2, one of the greatest. Oh my god, we already got a ring. Oh my goodness. This is by far one of my favorite 3D Sonic games ever. Probably out of all the Sonic games played, this one I definitely have the most hours spent on. All right, next up, we got another divisive one Sonic Heroes. Personally, once again, I really like this game. I always loved this game growing up. This was actually my first ever Sonic game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So here we go. Let's see. I think we're going to get one right off the bat. Like, right. Oh, we didn't get one yet. Okay, 20 seconds. Here we go. You talk about a divisive game. This one, I mean, honestly, most people just like didn't like this game. It didn't really score that well, but I think there's a ring right there. Boom, we got some rings. All right, 28 seconds. Not bad. All right, good. Thank God I didn't have to keep playing this game. All right, let's move on to the next one. Listen, guys, personally, I like Sonic 06. I have nothing against this game. All right, finally, we're in the game. We're in the game world. Oh, and then we got another cutscene, bro. Oh, my goodness. Bro, I don't think we're actually going to get a ring anytime soon, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right, I think we're about to get him right here. Yes, yes, and seven minutes and 20 seconds. That was by far the longest. Of course, Sonic 06 is the one. All right, next up, we got Sonic Run. Rush. This was by far one of my favorite Sonic games ever. When we're talking about hours played on a game, this one was it. We just did it in six seconds. Oh my god. Yeah, this was the first boost game. They need to do another modern Sonic 2D game. This one was it. This game was really fun. 
All right, next up, we got Sonic Rush Adventure. All right, here we go. Are we about to touch a ring? Oh, we have practice mode? Okay, sure, let's practice. I don't know why we're practicing. I don't need to practice. Oh my God, what the? Yo, stop, stop. All right, here we go. Ready? Boom. All right, there we go. Boom. 9.57. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we have, honestly, in my opinion, one of like the most special Sonic games ever. We got Sonic Unleashed. All right, let's go ahead and fire up a new game. Here we go. Sonic Unleashed. Here we go. Kind of feels like a crime to skip the opening cutscene of this game, but that's what we're going to do because I'm tired of this all right i don't have all day to do this we're actually running out of sonic games because after this game this is when they kind of stopped frequently releasing mainline sonic titles so kind of sad but also it is what it is this game got only a 60 on metacritic so sad all right here we go ready boom just like that 16 seconds we did it now we're gonna move on to the next sonic game which is sonic colors we're skipping the storybook games all right i'm not doing the storybook games all right next up we got everybody's favorite game sonic colors well i'm actually playing sonic colors ultimate a lot of sonic fans hate this game and you know it really wasn't the best oh my god and the stutters and the screen dude this is terrible all right here we go come on just get me through this get me over with this game i ready boop 17 seconds oh my god the performance on this game is really not that good but yeah let me know what you guys thought about sonic colors as well let's move on to the next game all right next up is sonic 4 again a very divisive game we're actually going to be playing this on my phone and i'm actually going to screen record the gameplay because i don't have this on pc so we're going to have to deal with what we got to deal with chat all right splash hill zone act one we're starting the timer all right here we go splash hill zone here we go oh my god this performs horrible on mobile boom we did it all right thank god i don't have to play this game anymore 4.88 seconds that was pretty easy i will say let me know if you guys like sonic 4 let me know if you guys hate it all right next up we got sonic 4 episode 2 here we go all right here we go sonic 4 episode 2 it took me like 30 minutes to get this game started with all these stupid ads hold on let me start the timer and boom let's go let's do this oh my god that was so brutal boom, and all that for nothing for 3.73 seconds all right, well, next. All right, next up, we got Sonic Generations. This game is obviously a fan favorite. Although, I like this game a lot. It's a great 3D Sonic game. A little bit overrated. A lot of people say this game is like an absolute masterpiece. It's better than the adventure games. Like, I don't agree with that. But, all right. Oh, my God. And we got the rings already. 5.31 seconds. But, yeah, I mean, like, listen. I love gens, but I will not call this game better than the adventure games. I don't care, all right? All right, another game I really don't like. Sonic Lost World. All right, here we go. Windy Hills Zone 1. And, boom, just like that. Oh, my God. Is that Tails? I see him flying away. Yeah, I really did not like this game. You want to like this game, but for some reason, it's just like not it. I don't know why. But all right, guys, let's move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Absolute Peak Fiction, Peak 2D Sonic, Sonic Mania. I love this game so much. We don't have enough time, man. We've been doing this forever. And boom, 6.38. Wow, this challenge, guys. I'm telling you, this is like the worst video to ever record for me. As always, let me know which 2D Sonic game you guys like the best. I feel like I've asked a bunch of questions. This video is kind of crazy. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this one the best. Still more of a Sonic 2 guy myself but you cannot deny the greatness of Sonic Mania. All right, everybody's favorite game, Sonic Forces. This should be an actually really quick one. I'm not gonna lie. So here we go, guys. Ready? Oh, we gotta go through this and boom, just like that. 9.47 seconds. Let's move on to the final game, Sonic Frontiers. Sonic Frontiers, the final most recent release Sonic game. Oh my God, I saw the Sketchhog mod on. Oh my God. All right, well, 9.57 seconds and there you have it, guys. We touched the ring in every single Sonic game. Now, all we have to do is add up our scores let me know what you guys want me to maybe try next as a challenge doesn't necessarily have to be this type of video but just let me know what you guys want me to do next man this was brutal it seems that just about in every single sonic game you can get a ring in like the first second of every single level i wonder if that's a philosophy that maybe could change maybe make the beginning of the games harder that's one thing we've definitely learned from all this and the total time the results were 13 minutes and 34.77 seconds so that is how long it takes to touch a ring in every single sonic game yes my rule were uh, whatever but this video was really hard to make so cut me some slack subscribe to the channel with noties and i'll see you guys in the next video